It is good to be back. Um, I'm very sorry. Help me. Bagging last minute last week. Um, if we have a minute, I'll explain. I don't want to. Sure, go ahead. It's just like Ooh, la, la. poison is was the problem. Yeah. So I'm on a new chemo, not because anything went wrong. It's the protocol. I do. I did twelve of one drug, and now I have to do four of this other drug, which is not so affectionately nicknamed the Red Devil. Um, because it is the color of Hawaiian punch, this drug, literally, like it's bright Nine. red shooting in your veins. And because it's, we're the first 10 minutes of the show. So how's the best way I can put that? It's, it's the worst. <laughs> That's all you got. It's the worst. I mean, I don't want you to have to bleep too much, but it's, it's, it's the ding dang worst. <laughs> Um, so literally, like, I had chemo on Friday the 31st. Sorry, something stuck to my face. Um, thir- oh, no, the Friday the 7th. I'm sorry. So Friday the 7th, I actually had my treatment. Okay. The next three days, I literally slept 20 hours out of 24. Maybe more. Like, I could force myself, I had to force myself to be awake long enough to eat, like, one meal. And then, like, the next three days were really exciting because I could be awake for, like, eight hours. Wow. So it's kicking my night a little bit. Yeah. Um, the, good, the good news is I, I called my doctor and I was like, because after, at, like, 10 days, I still felt like crap. I couldn't do anything. Um, we now know that I get fluids every three days. Like, I've had wonderful, I have wonderful, wonderful friends and neighbors who we have a little spreadsheet, people come in, help me get the cats fed, you know, pe- you know, bring me groceries, load my dishwasher, whatever I need. So I have lots of help. Uh, so the next three should be less bad. We'll but see. You're going to suck. Yeah. And unfortunately, I have, I have to wear it to protect me. And I love her. Um, so I got that going for me. If, if you're uh, just now watching this in retrospect, today, just today, Tucker Carlson was fired. Don Lemon was fired. Um, Elon, what the fuck? SpaceX uh, was grounded because the Nine. blew up an entire Ooh-la-la. launch pad. Yeah, the, the FAA grounded them and said, we're going to have to do an investigation before you can fly. Nine. Uh, stop it. Um, wow. And he still can't figure out if he wants to verify people or not. Right, that whole nonsense. And and and, and this morning, like, the Disney Junior UK account got a gold check mark, even though there is no Disney UK Ju- Disney Junior UK. <laughs> Dead people are getting Dead verified. Dead people are getting verified. They re-verified Hugo Chavez. I really want to know how Hugo Chavez gave them his phone number. So, yeah, it's it's been a week. And it's only Monday. Yeah, it's been a, it's Monday. Yeah. It's like so many fucking things happen. Um, but that doesn't mean we get a timeout here because it, it seems like in direct proportion to how fucking crazy the world gets, our stories get that freaking crazy as, as well. Uh, I was about to say we don't we don't take days off, but I took the last two weeks. <laughs> in, so. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out the worldwide interwebs, find the all sorts of horrible stuff. Bring back here for a little segment we like to call "What the Fuck's Wrong with You." Hey, uh, last week was uh, was uh, four twenty, which of course set off all sort of yeah, it clarity. Was. I hate that that fucking man is damn near ruined 420 for most people. Just because he's so fucking... The, the, the worst stoner in the world. Fucking Elon. But... Yeah. There were, of course, since it was 420, we, we, we have multiple stories centered all around the devil grass. And, uh... This first story is like... It, yeah. Yep. 
if, if anyone was going to crash their car on weed, this is why. Man trying to light marijuana, man crashes truck trying to light marijuana on weed day. Bless your heart, Fox. Chicago weed day. It's the day when the kids do the reefer. <laughs> A man taking part in weed day ended up Come on now. <laughs> ended up crashing his truck while trying to light marijuana. Allen County Sheriff. Well, trying to light marijuana. The marijuana, yes. Um, the Allen County Sheriff's Office in Kansas said the thirty marijuana tablets. Uh, said the 30-year-old was behind the wheel of his Ford Ranger on uh, April 20th. I think I've got a Ford Ranger. Uh, the man told authorities he was just driving with his knees when he lost control as he was driving home from work. Authorities say somehow the man did not hit any vehicles, even as he crossed three lanes, went into a ditch, slammed into a cement culvert, a large fence post corner, a telephone junction box, and a utility pole. Wow. Not wearing a seatbelt, he was tossed around inside the cab and received minor injuries. Holy fuck. Fun fact. Do you know why drunk drivers are usually not hurt as badly as the people they hit? They go lip. Yeah. So you're probably already high. Yeah. Because you don't tense up the way that instinct tells your brain to tense up if you're not fucked up in a car crash. Jay God so... the channel says, Jesus, did weed make you invincible? No, it, it doesn't. It... Weed pinball, yeah. And DS did not hit a single V. Just, we fucking magic here. Mr. Toad's wild ass ride. Do they still have that ride? They do. I think they do. I know there's a, a data guy in high school who used to love to show off that he could drive with his knees. He'd like be eating a sandwich and driving with his knees, and I'm like, "You're an idiot. What have you accomplished?" Like, I. All right, that's not safe, and don't do it. Listen, smoke all the fucking weed you want at home. Auntie Tara's not going to tell you not to. I prefer edibles. I, 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 the, I am going to tell you, don't smoke it. We have options. You don't need to smoke that shit. I'm partial to edibles, personally. The, there is no... Okay, however, no, it's weed, it's natural, it's not going to hurt you. There is no scenario in which inhaling smoke is good for you. Literally anything you burn and inhale is going to fuck up your lungs. Just get, get, a, fuck, so, get a fucking brownie. Get a fucking brownie. They, it's, they're good. Get a brownie instead. I have, I have a lovely white chocolate and lemon chocolate, uh, chocolate bar that I eat one little square of, and I'm fucked up. It's great. And you know what the great part, greatest part about it is? You don't require both hands to eat a fucking brownie. Now you should not be driving. Still, like, don't do it in the car. Like, how? Yeah, how? Don't don't do edibles in the car either. It doesn't. It doesn't even sound like traffic was all that bad. You didn't really have a have a reason to, to be stressed out, my dude. Like just just do your edibles once you are stationary in a place you're gonna be for a while. Can you? And it's not your job. Can you imagine how confused he was after all? He's like, "What happened, man?" Yeah. Because when you're when you are really fucking high, something like this happens. You're main, you're mainly just like, what the fuck? You really you really got to read the last paragraph. Oh God, yes. The word count, Patty. Oh yes. Okay. Ex wow, just the exact the origins of the 420 holiday are unknown, but many believe it originated in California in the 1970s when teenagers ritualistically smoked marijuana at 420 each day. And the term 420 ultimately became synonymous with the drug and promoted by bands like the Grateful Dead. I had to get that last, like, hundred words in there, huh? The dorkiest, most square hundred words you've ever heard in your life. Weed day. <laughs> Fuck it. You're in Denver because weed is, well, is 
totally legal in Colorado. Like, they have a whole thing in the park. Like, they do a fucking concert in the park for 420. And everybody just hangs out in the park and gets fucked up. And it's a whole thing. Um, I did not. I was sleeping most of the day. But, uh, yeah, it's a whole thing here. We, we, well, we don't, we got more weed stories, but this was, this was the, the tame one. Okay. Sometimes stories from, from Ars Technica show up on this show and you should always be terrified when they do, because that's the science and technology website. Um, brace yourselves before you see this this uh, this headline. I, you know what? I'm going to let Tara see it before I let y'all see it. Oh, no, I don't want to know what happens. Here's what don't happens. Only what happens when you leave marijuana up your nose for 18 years. Infection. 48 year old. Oh, Aust- 48-year-old Australian man needed an entirely different kind of nugget mined from his schnoz. They're having fun with this one. Doctors excavated uh, from the man's right nasal cavity a 19-millimeter by 11-millimeter rock-hard mass. The calcified remains of a small amount of marijuana he tried to smuggle into prison a startling 18 years earlier. That motherfucker can vote. Yeah. <laughs> you can join the military. The man's nose stone uh, is a rare example of illicit drugs causing a rhinolith, which are a rare on their own. Rhinoliths are stone like con- uh, con- concretions. Yeah, concretions. Concretions. Formed by the gradual buildup of salts around things not normally found in the nose. Um,. In the, the, a small amount of marijuana at the center of this all was a gift to the man from his girlfriend who presented it to him during a prison visit. To smuggle the dope gift past the guards, the man stuffed the weed wrapped in a rubber balloon up his nose. The trick worked, but when he went to retrieve his snotty stat, they're having fun with this story. Um, he accidentally pushed it further into his navel cavity. Nasal cavity. You didn't just blow your nose, you dumb shit. Unable to get it out, he mistakenly came to believe he had swallowed it and eventually forgot about it. That must have been some good shit he was smoking. Well, no, it was wrapped in rubber. I know, but if he was if he was high on a normal basis, that wow. Through the years, he suffered recurring sinus infections and had trouble breathing out the right side of his nose. But he didn't Don't say he didn't connect the problems to his lost cannabis. It wasn't until 18 years later, when he was struggling with headaches and had a CT scan of his brain, that doctors finally discovered the petrified pot. Ralph they removed uh, the firm wad and dissected it. They reported finding a rubber capsule containing a degenerate vegetable plant matter. After the doctors asked some obvious follow-up questions, the man finally remembered the nasal smuggling nearly two decades earlier. Three months later, the man reported his size problems and completely resolved. Wow. Do you have any idea what this is, sir? What? No. What? Wait, hang on. <laughs> This is a stoner story if ever there was a stoner story. This is this is like the epitome of Tommy Chong's character on that 70s show. This, I'm going to go ahead and make the prediction. I know it's only April, but I feel like this is going to be anything else in the nasal cavity by the time we make it to the rectal spective. 18 years! And it turned to stone! I didn't know the nose could do that. I didn't know your nose had Medusa-like properties. I, I was not aware of that shit. Jesus no. Christ. I, and I, fun fact that you don't consider about chemo. At a certain point, all your nose hair has fallen out. Yes. And you have a runny nose all the time. 
just all the time mm. always like i have i have tissues right here because you just all the time so like that's what's killing me right now is because you're also very dehydrated so like you wake up every morning and you have to like get the clots out of your nose but then you just then you've turned on the faucet uh buddy but yeah i didn't know i didn't know your nose could just petrify things but he asked if it became stone what did we call that gem sona uh rhinolith they are they are probably the worst of the crystal gems you, you don't you, they, they they they're 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 very fucking weird man yeah you don't want to make an engagement ring out of that you you, you don't want to see a fusion with rhinolith no one's happy it's it's just I carry this uncomfortable hunk of weed up my nose <laughs> for eighteen years. <laughs> oh. oh how do you forget? Even if you think you swallowed it, because here's the thing. If you swallowed it, yeah, I would eventually it. or it would break up and you'd be fucked up. <laughs> Because, like, I did, I, I usually take a gummy to help me sleep. And literally, like, this one day, I, I had to get up because I had a phone call with a broker to get me health insurance. And it turns out, a little bit of that gummy had gotten stuck in my teeth. And eating breakfast, I dislodged it. I was so fucked up for that phone call. <laughs> I <barely got> through it. <laughs> I'm trying to choose health insurance, and I am fucking flying. I was going to get some insurance, but then I got high. <laughs> it's amazing I have health insurance right now, because I was so fucked up at nine in the morning, because eating a bowl of cereal dislodged a little bit of gummy in my teeth. So eat your gummy before you brush your teeth, is the moral of that story. Well, but here's our, here's... Like, at some point it would have broken up, and he'd be fucked up. Well, it gets, it does get worse. It gets fucking worse. Of course it gets worse. It gets worse at fucking Disneyland. This was not, okay, the giant fucking thing at Disneyland catching fire was not the worst thing to happen at Disneyland in the past few weeks. Really? Because that was dramatic. No, no. This is. New Jersey man caught smoking, watching porn, and touching himself on Remy's Ratatouille adventure in Epcot. Sorry, Disney World. Uh, Robert Fitzpatrick, 36, was arrested and been charged with misdemeanor charge of exposing his sex organs. Misdemeanor? Turns out he was already a wanted man. It's, it's Florida. As long as he's not gay, they don't give a fuck. The rewards out for Fitzpatrick and arrest for sex crimes in both California and New Jersey, according to Orange County Sheriff's arrest report. Further details of those out-of-state charges are not included in the Orange County report. Disney cast members were first leery of Fitzpatrick after he wanted to sit alone in a rat. Let me show you what the ride car looks like if you're not familiar. That's what, yeah, that, that's what the ride car looks like. Um, generally, guests share the cart with other people, and it was suspicious the guest was in the cart alone. Several cast members monitoring the attraction in the surveillance room saw Fitzpatrick smoke and touch himself. Twice they stopped the attraction and made a loudspeaker announcement that smoking was not permitted. That's like that Garfield picture. I wonder who that's for. That's, I mean, I guess they weren't going to announce over the loudspeaker that ratting your Tui was a <laughs> Uh, the ride continued on, and Fitzpatrick began looking at porn on his cell phone, put his hand down his pants. Fitzpatrick then pulled out his penis in the open and continued masturbating inside the ride car. The next sentence, oh my god. I'm having trouble reading this. One cast member said he ejaculated before leaving the ride vehicle. I don't know how I don't know how they pay at Disney World, but they don't pay enough for that. Also, like, 
This looks like it's similar to like the teacup ride. Kind of. Yeah. Do the rats all well, spin? The, well, it's kind of, I think it's like a, through the, like a, like a haunted mansion or something kind of thing. It's like, it's like one of those rides. Oh, okay. Because it looks like, to me, like they're on little round platforms that maybe spin. I was going to say. No, no, they, they, they move little... through the thing. They're, they're on little, tra they're, yeah, they're a little, yeah. Oh, okay. Because I was going to be like, that's a little impressive. It's, it's kind of like he the was honking it on. ride like that, you manage to smoke and hold a phone and <laughs> punk it. <laughs> like, that's a little impressive in the worst possible way. No, it, it's it, it was. Imagine somebody shuffling on the uh, on on. It's a small world, and that's that's kind of kind of how this was. Okay. Yeah. Just I also don't know anything. I've never seen Ratatouille, so I don't. Rakakuni. Anyway, um, <laughs> that one I know. <laughs> I just blew it. Yeah. The fucking hell. Oh, oh uh, I, don't know, I haven't seen Ratatouille, but I'm pretty sure there's nothing sexy about it. No. Uh, Jedi Elridge says, let's hope there were no black lights. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. This, what the fuck? And this is the shit. That the state of Florida is not worried about, by the way. Right. This is cool. This is, you know, this is every they, day. They didn't worry about this guy. No. Nah. But, oh my God, if he was wearing a dress. Uh, they would have called it swine. Have... Yeah. Well, we have more from Florida. And uh, this is, it's not pot, but it seems like it should be. Cape Coral man falls through attic while hiding from police. Man fell through the attic and onto a bedroom floor when police arrived to arrest him at his Cape Coral home. That's the part that's killing me. This was his house. This wasn't like he was in an unfamiliar place and trying to hide. He lived there. And yet. When the Texas right. Huh? I don't have the link. Oh, you don't have the link? What? There. Okay. There it is. Okay. Uh, when detectives arrived at 28-year-old Dylan Alexander Flores' residence, they knocked on the front door, windows, and back doors to no answer. But uh, detectives heard someone enter the garage and march into the attic, which is already the first thing. You should not be stomping around when you're trying to evade the police. Uh, investigators uh, contacted Flores' sister, who stated he was not home. She had not seen him in days. After further investigation, sister stated she saw him enter the attic when detectives knocked on the door. <laughs> so she crumbled real quick. Law enforcement entered the garage and tried to speak with him through an open hatch in the attic. They informed him they had an active warrant for his arrest. Report states an hour and a half passed with no response who was from Fiore, who was still rubbish around the attic. Suddenly, a canine unit responded to the scene, or responded to the core of the attic, and after, even after his discovery, still refused to comply. Sir, you have to come out. No! You're just gonna yell at me. Using pepper spray and a taser. He still did not cooperate. Moments later... He crashed through the ceiling, falling onto the bedroom floor. Holy fuck. I'm assuming this was more like a crawl space than a proper attic, because otherwise, why yeah. didn't they just go up there? Right, right. It seems like a crawl. No, they, they, yeah, they just, he just Kool-Aid manned his way through there. God damn. Yeah. He, he took the fan with him. Uh, in Flora's right pocket, a clear glass tube was found, which is known to be used for smoking products. Place the item into custody as evidence. Oh, just damn, look at the... All right, let's see what else. There's another shot from the other side of it. Let's see if I can get this picture to, to come up. Freaking Facebooks. Come on, let's see. Like, did you think eventually they were just going to give up and leave? 
I stay very quiet. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. The other side of it's even worse. Oh, he was in the insulation. Oh, damn. Like, at no point, you're not going to outweigh them. Right? But it's not going to be like, all right, man, I don't think he's coming out. I think, no. yeah, I'm off shift. That's, that's not how it's going to go. Fun fact, they have more than one cop. Yeah. They can trade off. And your sister sold you out in about a minute and a half. <laughs> he's not here. Okay, he's here. All right, yeah, yeah, he's here. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Uh, Lady Minshaw, morons in the attic. <laughs> I mean, what the fucking hell, man? The noise that must have made must have been amazing. That must have been impressive. Yeah. You're, once you in the, cra like, you can't, like, <laughs> you just can't, like, I just all. Now there's all insulation in that bedding. Yeah. Man, I, I, would, I can't even imagine the kind of... I'm going to have to do this kind of repair work soon for myself because I've got some bad spots on the ceiling and bathroom. It's just like, just looking at this makes me anxious. That's that's yeah. money. Do you see that? This is what happens when you become adult. You, you see that and you don't go, that's money. You see that and you go, oh God, how much is that going to cost? Yeah. As soon as you're a homeowner, you're like, uh, no. Yeah, that's that is like no. that. That's that's a night that keeps you up at night. You're looking at it and you're like, do I need a ceiling that bad? Yeah. Like, yeah, it keeps the rain out, but like, hey, the next one, big umbrella. <laughs> the next one's near you, Tara. Uh oh, this is from uh, Wayferno. I, I think I'm saying this, this is correctly. Uh, saying this correctly, if I can say words. Where Fano? Where Fano County, Colorado? Oh, I don't know, man. Colorado has so Colorado has a lot of fucking counties, <laughs> and I have not learned them all. It's always nice when a parent goes out. I have learned that the further you get from the Denver donut hole, the more libertarian it gets. Yeah. So I don't go that far. I don't leave my donut hole. It's always nice when, when parents show up at a, uh, a sports event to support their children. That's always nice. Um, this is probably not a good way to do so, however. Uh, parent allegedly tries to run student over with truck at school track meet. Right? Wow. A pair was allegedly arrested for attempting to run. Oh, it was arrested for allegedly attempting to run over students with a truck during a school track meet. And that is a that is that is dude is the most non bothered in a in a fucking. Maybe he's mad that he looks like the stress doll that you squeeze and the ears pop out. Forty-two year old Jose Luis uh, Jose Luis. Mendez, there we go, uh, was arrested and taken into custody for several charges, along with many out-of-county warrants. Deputies received a call regarding a man who was attempting to run students over during a track meet at the RE1 sports complex. While responding to the scene, deputies received information the suspect was at the John Mall High School parking lot. Once the parking lot was clear, deputies then responded to a field where the Huerfano County Sheriff's uh, and K-9 Sergeant detained the suspect. A victim and witness accused Mendez of becoming verbally aggressive and allegedly tried to run the victim over. And here's the part that's great. But was unsuccessful. I think they're going to win this year. <laughs> I, I'd say they've got a good team. That is motivation. That is, yeah. I think, I think, I think they've got. I think they, they they've got this one. It's theirs to lose this year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell! Why? They never tell you why. They never do. It's just, it's, it's always, you know, uh, belligerent and verbally aggressive. 
What the Why? fuck could make you think? How could any good outcome follow on from you and a truck going after a miner? That. Unless the miner has recent, like, is a zombie. Unless it's one of those creepy fucking zombie kids out of a Zack Snyder movie. Yeah. Jesus. No. Christ. It's like the only time you get a pass. See, and fuckers like their trucks super big out here. Sometimes. Friend, I, f- friend of mine were, were over at the, uh, we were at a Culver's drive thru and I've never had Culver's before. We went to Culver's because oh, I wanted a shake. So good, yes. And then uh, the guy behind, I, I didn't realize the way it works. Like they don't, you don't sit at the window at a Culver's and wait for your fruit. They hang a little number on your window. Yeah. And you pull forward. Yeah. Because like everything's made to order, I guess. Yeah. Well, this guy in a fucking behemoth of a truck that he almost certainly didn't need was revving his engine at us while we're ordering. And we're like, you're in a drive through Like, what do you, what do you the want? Fuck? Yeah, what's. <laughs> Why are you revving the engine at us at the drive through but then, like, he pulls up, and he's all mad, and he can't fit in the space. And we're like, yeah, because you're driving an absurdly large truck in a suburb. Uh, and it was, like, pristine, so I had people who were like, maybe it works construction. No. This truck gets waxed with a diaper every single time that leaves the garage. You could tell he's one of those guys. Sendai guy says, if you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. <laughs> if you can dodge a Ford F-150, you can dodge a yeah. F-150. If you can outrun it, you can outrun some other fucking kid. We've got we've got some future Olympians here, I swear to God. That was the part. I le- tried to run them over, but was unsuccessful. That's the part when I fucking lost it. All right, the last one this week is a perfect story for this week. It fits in perfectly with all the other horse shit. It's that fucking bad. I. Oh my god. I'm excited. All right, let me get this one over to you. And it's the BBC, so you know something's bad's coming. If we're getting a BBC story. Michael Schumacher, magazine editor, sacked over AI-generated interview with seven-time F1 champion. Now, that sounds pretty bad, because you're generating an F- AI-generated interview with somebody, it gets worse. Yeah. The editor of a German magazine that published an artificial intelligence-generated interview with Michael Schumacher has been sacked. The magazine's publishers apologized to the Formula One legend's family. Schumacher, a seven-time world champion, suffered severe head injuries and a skiing accident in December 2013 and has not been seen in public since. Guy Akutel ran a uh, front cover with a headline of Michael Schumacher, The First Interview. Strap line under a smiling picture of Schumacher read, It sounded deceptively real and it emerged the article was supposedly quotes, had been produced by AI. The article had been used, produced using an AI program called Character.ai, which artificially generated Schumacher quotes about his health and family. Quote, I can help, I can with the help of my team actually stand by myself and even slowly walk a few steps, read the Schumacher quotes. My wife and children are, bless- are a blessing to me. Without them, I would not have managed it. Naturally, they are also very sad. How it has all happened? They support me and are standing firmly by my side. How in the goddamn world did this seem like an idea that was going to fucking end well for you? <laughs> How do you even... What is this thought process? Oh, it's it's new tech. Like, it, it's interesting. People are gonna are gonna think this is great. It's gonna be really, really enlightening and amazing. And first of all, it's fan fiction. 
Right. Because for all you know, the guy can't move his left pinky if he hasn't been seen since 2013. Like, you don't know. You don't know. It's gross. It's super gross. But also, like, did you think you were going to get caught? Did you think that nobody who is related to him wasn't going to be... Oh, oh they won't care. You have a nerve house. They, they, they'll be, they'll be, it's fine. It's not like, they, they don't, they, what, what, they don't mind, it's fine. You know, it's less work he like, has to do, so. Like, not that he was a famous guy, but if somebody, if some, like, psychology journal was like, we interviewed Dr. Dan Hawthorne, you can, you can bet my ass would be on the fucking phone and been like, I don't remember you coming over and speaking to his urn. I mean, it's like, that's what AI is for, right? It's, you're, you're, you're doing, you're taking the work. Other people don't have to do the work for you. There you go. You don't even have to do the interview. We're not going to pay you for it, but you don't even have to do the interview. See, it, it, it's work. It makes your life easier. Jesus Christ. This dude's AI, th th this, this editor, he, this is how you never work again. Ever. Yeah, this is how you professionally completely leave an industry. You, you no longer exist in the world of publishing. What in the living fuck is wrong with you? Hayden Christensen, Anakin Skywalker. Yeah. The other role that he's primarily known for is in a movie called Shattered Glass about a writer. I forget what magazine he wrote for it. Yeah. Times, New York, or something like that. Who just made up a bunch of fucking stuff. Yeah, I remember him, yeah. And he didn't really write for anybody. He wrote a book yeah. about the experience. But, like, how much of that can you believe? Scott. He didn't really work no more. His name was, yeah. I think his last name was Glass. That's yeah, it's Glass. Yeah. It's the title of the movie, but I don't remember his first name. But, um... I don't know. He's like a greeter at Walmart now, or something. Bad. <laughs> it's. Did you literally have nothing else to write about that week? Nothing, really. He, yeah. There's a rumor that Taylor Swift is dating an F1 driver for fuck's sake. And you did this. Yeah, but it's AI, though. <laughs> It's fucking AI. You get it? It's, it's AI. Did you even think, I forget which Russo brother is like, oh, with AI, you could just write a romantic comedy with you and Marilyn Monroe. And I'm like, you can do that now. It was Joe Russo. And it was, that was probably the dumbest thing he could have possibly said. Because everyone ran with it. It's like, dude, uh, we but call that like, fan fiction. Yeah, it's the best use you could think of for AI fanfic. Yeah, well, no, it's the idea. Is, is fanfic. The idea is like the the AI will generate you on TV, and you can see yourself doing it. It's like, really? Ew. Yeah. That's yeah. That's. See, you've... <laughs> someone asked you something with a mic, and you were like. AI is great because someday I can watch myself fuck Marilyn <laughs> Monroe. And we were like, <laughs> print that quote. <laughs> like, look, I, I, I too have watched Endgame fifty times. I love that fucking movie. I love the ending. Fuck you, Steve Rogers' ending is perfect. But I think it went to their heads a little. Look They've gone a little crazy. No, it's it's the week of the fifteenth of April. Literally, there were many other people, relevant people you could have talked to. Yeah, this month, shit has been happening. I don't know if you've noticed. Shit's but, been happening in Europe. Shit has been happening in Europe. Yes, all of France is still on fire. I think. Yep, they're not happy. They're having a whole ass second Bastille Day in France. And no, you had to find a dude who had head injuries and make up a make up an interview. What the fuck? 
This is like one of the worst and things. I just, can you imagine being this guy's family? Well, no, what's, what's even more, this is like one of the worst things I can imagine because there, most of us have little like trips, trip wires in our brains for bad ideas. Like if we start to approach this idea, like it would be like, you know, you pop a fucking booby trap and you'd go up in a net and your brain's like, we're not doing that. We're not fucking. No, 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 don't do that. And if we get out of the net and go a few, there's like some punji sticks and a trap. And there's landmines. That's how most of us have these psychological protections to keep us from. Do this guy was just had a straight line. There was it's a clear road. There was like you know like a pot he, stand on the side. Just road. ran that shit like it was, or he just ran that shit like it was American Ninja Warrior. Didn't care. Got hit in the face with the giant padded hammer. <laughs> <laughs> how do you like? Oh. Oh, and the first thing I guess we learned this week is, um... And, like, again, not, sorry to interrupt, but, like, it got printed. Yeah. Which means, listen, I've never worked as a journalist, but I minored in journalism in college because I wanted to work as a journalist. If you write a thing as a little journalist, mm -hmm. you have to hand it to somebody called an editor. Yeah. And they go over it. And then there's usually someone whose entire ass job is to fact check. Yeah. That's their whole ass job is to just call the people and be like, did you say the thing? Okay. Call somebody else. Did the thing happen? Okay. All of that fell down here. Well, that's because he was the editor. Editors can get a lot away with a lot of shit, man. You don't even know. Rich people were a mistake. <laughs> yeah, the, okay, we learned that. First thing we learned this week is there are some people who do not understand why abhorrent things are in fact abhorrent, and you should be worried about them. Um, we've learned over in fucking pot. We've learned that if you are in any sort of confrontation with a legal minor. And you've decided to resolve it by aiming a pickup truck at them. You're automatically in the wrong. Yeah. You lose. It doesn't matter what that kid did. Right. That could be the worst fucking kid in the universe. Doesn't matter. Unless there's all be. Let's see they're not undead. Doesn't matter what that kid did. You're wrong. We have learned that attempting to hide from the, the police in your attic leaves you with very few options for egress. Mm -hmm. um, we have learned that, uh, well, that's not why they call it the happiest place on earth. My man. That is... We, we've learned... And why the rat ride? I don't know, man. Why not at least Pirates of the Caribbean? Maybe he's got a thing for Patton Oswald. I don't know. Um... We've learned that uh, if if uh, if you shove something up your nose and you can't find it, don't just shrug and let that shit go. Call a doctor. For the love of God. If I... Then when you get the sinus infection, how does it not occur to you? I... And finally, we've learned that while being high, yes, may make yourself you less likely to get injured by a sudden impact, perhaps leave the marijuana at the hole when you're out driving your Ford Ranger. Yes. I, I'm a, that, that man just like, it was like, God was just like, oh, okay. All right. Just, just let him off easy this time. Jesus. I'm just, I'm just going to give me a pass this time. Give you a pass. This was a warning. It's one. Angel of Death's over the corner going, oh, man. 